And we are back now with our Sunday Spotlight, shining today on the miracle baby born to a member of Congress. Jamie Herrera Butler's daughter, Abigail Rose, was born premature with a fatal disease. But thanks to an experimental treatment, she's made an incredible comeback that's left her doctors and her parents in awe. ABC's David Wright has their heartwarming story. Jamie Butler is a member of Congress who, for the moment, has a constituency of one. Little Abigail Butler, born this summer three months premature, with a birth defect that would normally be fatal. Welcome to Parenthood. You know, every day is so exciting and, um, <sighs> sorry, um, full of so much joy because we didn't think we'd ever be here. The Butler's world totally changed May 20th during what was supposed to be a routine pregnancy scan. And I could tell there was something kind of different. He, he just, he kind of went ashen, the, the ultrasound tech. The technician couldn't see any kidneys. And you'll have to take my word for it, there's no kidney there. Dr. Stephen Alexander of Stanford says the baby suffers from something called Potter's syndrome. Oh, it's really rare. It's really rare. One in 60,000, I think. The doctor, um, he just said, it's, he's just like, gosh. <laughs> he said, it's just, this is not compatible with life. She, she is not going to live. And as he was saying it, I could feel her moving. Inside her, the baby was First kicking, almost as if she disagreed with the doctor. There are a lot of parents who would hear that from a doctor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and make a choice to terminate. It was offered. We knew it that, was offered. But, but the butlers, like all three of them, happy. chose to fight for like Abigail's it. life. Potter syndrome, caused by a critical lack of amniotic fluid, meant the baby's lungs and kidneys couldn't form properly. The butlers found a specialist at Johns Hopkins willing to infuse saline, replacing the amniotic fluid. So this was an experimental procedure. It was definitely cutting edge. Miraculously, it worked. Abigail was born at 28 weeks with no kidneys, but lungs able to sustain life, a medical first. We would expect a full and normal childhood for her. There she is. She'll need a kidney transplant and daily dialysis till she gets one. And she'll spend her first six months here at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital at Stanford. Stanford, Johns Hopkins, it takes a village. Oh, yeah. A very smart village. It does. The multi-million dollar treatment plan covered by Medicare and the congressional health plan. So you're not getting much of a maternity leave. I gather you're going back for the Syria vote? Yeah, I am. It's important. I'll still be here, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very jealous. A miracle for mom and dad, and especially for little Abigail. For this week, David Wright, ABC News, Palo Alto. Love to see that little girl. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the names of two service members killed in Afghanistan. And that is all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Diane will interview President Obama on the crisis in Syria tomorrow on World News, and we'll have full coverage of the president's address to the nation Tuesday night at 9 Eastern. I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.